Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I just wanted to make a quick video, um, a full uh, watercolour um, video. Um, one of the places that we went to recently is uh, Chuck Castle. Um, it's one of my favourite places, one of the one of my favourite castles to visit. Um, we went there last weekend on our visit to Wales. Um, and I just just want to say, if you uh, if you're not if you're in the UK and uh, looking for places to go, uh, we have membership of uh, um, National Trust, so we get to go to places. Um, I think it's something like twelve pound, twelve pound something a month, and that entitles you to free parking, access to the manor houses, stately homes, um, castles. And stuff like that so if you're not a National Trust member then uh, I'd recommend highly recommend um, looking into that there is also an app which you can get which um, has 300 plus places all around the UK Scotland Wales um, different places that you can get to so it's good to uh, to have that also okay let's get let's get into it See, I'm just starting just the outline and pencil. I've got a four, four B pencil. You can see that four B, just so that you can see that for the video sake. Um, the outline. I don't usually go too dark, but so that you can see, I'm using a softer lead. Pencil. Some really nice <coughs> shrubbery and trees. It's lovely grounds at Chirk Castle. So this does include some of the foliage and uh, got some ivy coming up the uh, castle wall here. Indicate that and trees in the bottom here, and the window here. Let's see with relation to the shrubbery. I'm gonna sort of measure to get things. It don't have to be 100% accurate, but just try and get things at least so they look look right. There's the window, some more trees coming up just here, come down, join in these bits of trees going under the window, and then some trees link into that. Windows here. Just looking in relation to the bottom window, it does actually level to that. There we go. And there's a big window. That's too high. Going all the way on this side here. I 
think there's not enough space in between but I'm just going to go ahead with it anyway and then this one goes to other trees don't stop here this one goes starts there and you can see the uh, the beginning stage is really the planning stage just um, trying to get proportions right getting things in the right places you can always use an eraser just to uh, check out any mistakes some trees going up it's sometimes difficult to do when you're uh, videoing um, because the camera and the tripod is in the way and I'll just do what I can do the path going in the front and I think I'm happy with that I think that'll do there's another window just peeping through this tree needs to come down a little bit more. And this window just pops through around there. And disappears with the trees. a few details on these windows you can see there's um, separate window panes this one's just meant to four which is easy enough and another four down here Again, I'm not worrying too much about any fine details. I just want to keep this as simple as possible. Just to give you uh, an idea of how to achieve a scene like this. You can go as, as detailed or as uh, simple as you want. I think oftentimes it's quite the best thing to uh, just simplify because I think more scenes have got quite a lot of detail and it's quite difficult to uh, to replicate but I don't think you want to be exact um, it's not a photograph although working from photographs um, you do want to get some of the detail right so this is just a, a quick sketch and this tree is actually um, you can see see this needs moving over so you can see now as you can see the uh, You can actually see the, uh, the edge of the castle here coming down and that tree just did, needed to be moved just a little bit to the right and I think I think that looks okay it's not exact but um, I think without looking at the uh, photograph um, it would actually be in there it doesn't really matter too much and it's not something that anyone would say oh this is wrong or it's just an overall um, I'm just trying to capture the uh, the essence of Chirk Castle 
So I think that that can be as far as it goes for the uh, for the pencil for the sketch. And uh, that's all the information I need to uh, to start painting. Okay, so I've just mixed up a light wash, cobalt, a bit of uh, French ultramarine. It's a very light. In fact, I think I'll just darken this up a little bit. So don't forget. Any paint that you put down a dry, lighter than what it is you put down. So I'm just getting some uh, clean water and just blend that, blend that back. And there's just a bit of uh, blue sky popping through. It doesn't matter if you, uh, you touch the castle with the blue, it's so pale it won't really make much of a difference because that will be covered. And that can be as simple as that can be it for the sky. I'm just going to mix some uh, colour up for the castle itself. Using uh, some yellow walker and uh, some Van Dyke brown, just a tiny bit, switching that. Quite a light colour is uh, yellow walker. So you can uh, darken it up with one of my favourite neutral tint. The thing I like about neutral tint is uh, as it says it's neutral. So it's not a warm or a cold colour, it's another tone of grey without using Payne's grey. So you can add that to uh, <clears throat> any of your colours just to darken, deepen any tones. And here goes. As you can see I'm using quite a large mop brush. I don't know what size it is, it's a 10 squirrel mop, just like that, pan them down, and again, it doesn't matter if you uh, go into the trees, it's not going to make much difference, you can see some of the castles bleeding up into the sky, I'm not too fussed about that. Make sure I've got enough paint to come down. As you can see, I've already gone over the ivy. It doesn't matter. You can leave little white bits here and there. That's all the magic of uh, watercolour. And this part of the castle, you can see, popping through the side. Just give that a little covering as well. All I need to do is dry my brush a little bit and just take these little beads away because they'll dry and you'll see those little bits slightly darker than the rest. It'll look too good. And then I need to take some of this green. Again, I use um, sap green. And I'll mix it either uh, with a blue or a yellow. And just, just do a first covering of these. 
trees and shrubbery. You can see I'm not really, I'm not being careful at all. Um, with this white of the paper really. Again I'll be doing um, a few layers as I go on. This is just the first layer so it's just covering that paper, getting rid of all that white. You just always got to remember that your lights, your first wash, and show through. So you want to get that right. And this tree that comes down on this side gives a nice balance to the scene. Like I say, if you you're not, if you're in the UK, and you're not. National Trust member, I would highly recommend that. You get to see all these really nice places. And for as little as I think it's 12, 13 pound a month, it works out about 120 pound for the year. Um, but a really nice place, especially when uh, we like to go, even if it's raining, it doesn't stop you because you can get into the grounds, into the castles and stuff. So, and there's always uh, places to play, there's recreational grounds, play areas for kids. Um, so it's ideal for this um, British weather. You never know what, what we're going to get. So it doesn't cost anything. Um, a lot of them are uh, quite local, local to where we live anyway. There's always somewhere not far. <clears throat> and even when we're away, like um, in Wales, we uh, we always go and visit some of these castles or different places. And it gives us a nice day out as well. You know, we can do that also. Okay, I'm just going to let this first layer dry. And uh, then I'll come in and uh, add some more layers. Actually, I've just seen, um, let me just get some more green, there's this bit of ivy going up the wall here. But I'm going to add to that, so not too worried. I'm just going to let this uh, layer dry now and then uh, add some darker tones. Okay, so this, this layer is now dry. I left it for 10-15 uh, minutes. And I'm just uh, just mixed it a little bit more and I'm going thicker now and darker with the consistency of the paint using more pigment than water. And I've just mixed some more of this green. A little bit of light around the outside of the trees. Give it this little bit of texture. And again, this is this is what really is good about using watercolor paper. You got the texture of the paper, and that helps get the texture that you want. Itself. Spot. This green on, and this one, this tree here. You can see also by using the side of the brush. There's this nice broken effect. And that's also good for foliage, things like that. And I 
the side of the castle here. Tip. We've got quite a nice tip on these. Squirrel mop brush, if you can see that. So using the brush side and also the tip, you can get these little details, which is quite nice. There we go. having the paint on real loosely and see the texture of the paper now doing the work as you get thicker paint it doesn't run as much so you can get this nice texture going on It really is that simple. Let's just add a bit more water, just get some of this, loosen up this paint a little bit. Get a bit more movement. And the grass in the foreground is slightly more yellow, as you can see. So I'm just gonna put that across. And just add the water and let that paint run down. Bit more green. Nice trees, ivy down the side of the building. See, using quite a lot of water, it does come down the page. Change brushes now. Going with a finer brush, you can see. And this is actually a two, pot two zero. So it's a mop brush again. It's got a smaller, a smaller brush end. And we're just going to get some of this uh, darker tone for the castle. Using the same mix, just adding a little bit more pigment, turn a bit of neutral tint, kind of darkening. that I have done is I didn't bring in a toilet paper something to take out the colour but you can also do that by taking the water out of the brush as you can see and lifting lifting some colour from that which works and, uh, you can see with a dry brush not a lot of water on here, it gives you that texture, which is what we're after. It saves, you can also do, um, you can paint brickwork, individual bricks, like this. It just saves a bit of time, 
put a stamp, fire brush in, and a shape of the castle. That way, and it looks. And just spot them here and there. You can hear that brush on the paper because it's dry. Is that scraping effect, that scraping noise? Very little pet, very little water on the on the brush. It's quite dry. Okay. Put some paint for the windows. I'm not being too careful, really. Just um, trying to keep this nice and simple. Taking some water and picking it off the brush with some of that paint. <coughs> and it's quite a dark inside the window here. Dark. Pigment. And inside the window, this window here. Quite a light window this one, reflecting some light. And keep it quite light. Just um, doing the out outlines, which are quite dark. Almost a border around the castle. Do need some more darker green, and that will be for the trees. Just darken them. Using a little bit more blue into that mix. Take a bit of Payne's grey also. As you can see, when you start adding the darks, things come to life. It's, it's the paint that really stand out, really pop, which is my favourite part of watercolour painting. You go from light, looking light to dark, and it's, it makes watercolour. A medium which I like to use. Uh, it's unpredictable. Um, some people say it's not hard and it's not easy. Um, I think it's just trial and error. You just got to keep plugging away. And it does 
let's take a bit of practice. And it's just about having fun. Having fun with the pen. Just having fun and uh, enjoying and just having fun doing all colours. That's really half the battle. It doesn't matter if you don't do a masterpiece, it's all about learning, just doing it, enjoying what you do and uh, as you keep doing, you just learn more and you just get better at doing it. Some darker green, I know that's not, not really on the picture, but there's some darker green just to emphasize that path because I've already covered that pathway. Should have been almost the same colour as the castle, but I think with a darker, um, darker bottom, it helps. It helps ground the uh, the paint in itself. <coughs> Some dark, darker tones, and I'm going to switch brushes here because it's quite, I need quite a thin, fine tip just to do the, uh, the windows. Little details here. And again, for this little border going around. your finger you can use anything you want to uh, just blend
I just want to work on these trees just to separate. Make them look individual trees of different colours. I do want to darken, darken some areas of the trees. This one here, not dark. I'm not putting dark everywhere, but just here and there. Can I do? And by darkening the trees, it really makes the uh, Makes the trees stand forward a little bit. And just gives it an overall nicer feel to the, the painting. So I'll put that on the bottoms. And I think this tree needs to be darker also. in a brush and that's fine and I want just a little bit of dark going through to the ivy look side of this the building. Let me get some of this colour. A few different colours going on in the trees. Add those, I've got a little bit of interest. Some there, and some in the middle of here. I think, I think I may even leave that as it is. Let's have a quick look, make sure I've got everything I need to. Yeah, and there we go. A simple, quite loose painting. And that's Chirk Castle in North Wales. Um, I could go on and, and add some finer details to the windows, a bit more texture to the, uh, the, the buildings. But I think as a simple sketch, just as a demo, um, I think that will do. I'll call that a day. Hope you like it. If you, if you do like it and you're not subscribed, then please subscribe to my channel. That will really help my channel to grow if you've got any comments anything you uh, any ideas any thoughts then please leave comments and i will uh, be posting again um sometime soon okay thanks for watching take care and i'll see you in the next video bye bye